ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And I need to make that table, which I forgot how to make. Let's see, where is it? Pat, part crafter. No, I did that one, I think. Stencil table, part crafter, pattern, oh, tool station. Okay, so I need one of these, one of those, okay. So I need one of these, and I need a blank pattern. There we go. And let's drop that down here. Okay, so here's how you make stuff. Um, let's make this. Um, I can only make a pickaxe. And let's see. Stone pickaxe. Okay, I can look. It's basically a stone pickaxe. Durability 65 out of 65. These are, I have 121. I'll see why this... Okay, interesting sound effect. Let's see, let's try... What's next? Shovel. Okay, shovels are easy. Sixty-five out of sixty-five. Let's see if these are even worth it. What's this? A hatchet. Okay. And what's this? What is that? A mattock. Farming tool. On wood, dirt, and plants. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not making that one. Uh, oh, looks like I have the parts for this. Let's go ahead and put this together. Two and a half hearts. Durability is 78 out of 78. What else have I got here? What's this? Chisel. To sh carve shapes into blocks. I can shape items. Okay, well, I don't think I made that part. I made another stone pickaxe head. What is this? Battle sign. Okay. The frying pan. And what can I do with this? I can add modifiers to it. Well, I don't have anything to add a modifier to it. So let's see here. 79 uses. Okay, this has 66. I guess I should probably make some that are not broken. Let's go ahead. I need sticks. Oh, I have some sticks. Let's go ahead and make... Let's put these away for now. I don't know what the stone shards are for. I'll figure that out later. Excuse me. I had a hiccup. Okay. I need a shovel. And I need an axe. And I need a sword. Now let's see how these compare. Okay, this one has 132. This only has 79. So this one seems to be better. Let's see. This one has 66 uses, this has 132. Yeah, it looks like on every one of them, just using the wood is better. So we're gonna go ahead and not make those again. And let's just put all these things in here. I'm sure if I get materials later, that will be more useful. Let's see here. What should I take with me? I'll take my boat. And... I guess technically I can put this down. There we go. Hello, sir. You don't mind me? I'm just stepping out of your home? Oh, there's still stuff out here. Let's see, is there anything else out here? Zombie flesh. Oh, it disappeared just as I walked to it. Alright, now let's try these. See if they hit harder. Where's. There you are. Whap! Five damage. Five damage. Four damage. Four damage. Four damage. 
Okay, so between five and four damage on those. Now then, let's see. There's a cow. Sorry, Mr. Cow. I'm going to kill you in the name of science. No. Eh, might have done a little bit more damage. Need more testing. Hello, pig. Oh, yeah, that does consistently five damage. So... The regular stone sword is better than the crafted stone sword. So we're good there. Oops. Now, I want to actually try to circumnavigate this continent for a little bit. And then I'll come back. Oh, let's see. Map. Oh, wait, that's not a map. Oh, I pulled the map. That's also not the map. Hmm. I did not know I could do that. That was the period button. Let's see, that button? Nope. N, B, V, C. Oh, I can waypoints. Homish. There you go. Now we gotta come back to this point and be reasonably sure that I'm safe. So, let's see how long it takes for me to get around. I like what they did with the beekeeper there. He's got green around his house now instead of that honeyed wood kind of look. Not that I didn't like the honeyed wood, it you know, looked pretty. But Oh, stupid lag. There we go. So we're going this way. Let us circumnavigate this little continent here and see what happens. So far, it looks very boring. I see a lot of sand. Whew. Um, I did get a request from someone to do a video about how to use um, a, what are they called, redstone storage that stores buildcraft power, and how to make it so it'll automatically turn off when it's full. Now, I have done a bit of research on it, and it turns out that you can't do that automatically. As in, the there's nothing in the code for the redstone power cell that will turn off the power automatically, but I did figure out a way to do it. So, once I finish up here... Oh, it's a little dark area. What's going on over here? Is it just a lighting glitch? All right, well, we'll keep going. Looks like there's more of that poisoned water. But yeah, th after this, I will be doing the video on that. I'll probably post the, uh, the tutorial video before this video ever shows. So, sorry for those of you who are watching these out of order. Oh, it's another village, and that one's got a, a blacksmith. We're going that way. I want to raid the blacksmith. Hope for some iron stuff. Grab my boat. Oh, another lighthouse? That's kind of interesting. These lighthouses seem to generate close to the villages. It looks like that village has a beekeeper too. In fact, it looks very similar to the last one I was in. Another place called Pharos. And you don't speak any language I understand either. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab torches because I'm just being a thief. Yoink. This is a very large sargasso. Let's see. Villagers. Green villager. Don't remember the green villagers. What, what the heck are the green villagers? Oh, they made the... Their houses are made out of different materials now. That's kind of cool. Oh, missed. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. I need to access your garden here. Ah, I didn't bring a pickaxe. Let's 
in here. Grab the frames. Grab the frames. I guess I'll grab the bees. Hey, what are you? You offer funky saplings, okay? Let's in let's try getting in here. I didn't do that right, did I? No. I need a plain old block. Alright, so let's do it this way. Hey guys. Yeah, none of you look really happy. And there we go, we're up. And let's see. Oh good, a pickaxe. Um I guess the flowers aren't terribly necessary right now. These are out of those. Do you want the cold coke? Yeah, let's put these on. Because I need some armor. Oh, gives me a little readout. Isn't that nice? Alright, so let's go ahead. Hmm. Let's go collect those beehives. Hello? Okay, no more flowers in here. Okay, guys. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm really just not cut out for these sargassos, apparently. Go in here, just grab what we can. And we're going to go ahead and head back. Or, no, we're going to continue to go around and I'll just make marks for places where I've been. So, wait, nope, what is it? C. Village. Alright, so here's a village. Let's wander across this way. And fall in the water because I hit the space bar at the wrong time. Again. Come on. Oh, come on. I will say this is a bit laggy. I'm not sure if it's the mod pack. I come on. There we go. I see skellies. And we're going to go straight for the water. Stop skipping. Oh well, looks like it curves back down. Okay, well. Let's go. This will save us on hunger, at least. Looks very smooth. And it's got those poisoned wells. Which, from FTB, I'll say that's a nice touch. I like that. That's an interesting little idea. So, let's see. Go, keep going around. Of course, when dawn comes, I will end the episode. But we will continue to circumnavigate until we figure out something. I'm not diving in after that ink sack. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh. That what just lit up over there? I'm curious. Shouldn't be anything from Thoundcraft. Because it has to be a beehive. Because there's nothing else that should light up that much. In a desert area. Let's see. What is it? Hello there. Mm. What is it?
Okay, I can't really see what it is. Okay, well, it's probably not worth risking life and limb. Let's see, whatever it is, it's in the ground. So, I'm going to guess it's a desert hive that just formed inside the ground. So let's just keep on going, shall we? Let's see. Yeah, just from the way that light is spread out, I'm going to go ahead and call that a... I think they're called desert hives. Parched hives? I don't know, something like that. What is that? Is that above water? Oh, maybe? No. What is that? Looks like I'm about to go over it. Okay, let's, okay, let's look. Oh, it's a ravine. Uh, shall we check it out? Yeah, why not? It doesn't take that long to get down. Here we go. Looks to be a really interesting place. It's got lava for light. Oh, good, crystals. This will help whenever I need to get into applied energetics. Okay, so what else? Anything else interesting in here? Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Oh, wow. Whoa. No, oh, there went the redstone I wanted. Um, actually, seeds. What else did I pick up? Don't want dirt. Don't want that either. I want the redstone. There are multiple uses for redstone. Oh, I actually have an iron pick, so... Okay, so we're good. Let's eat up. <laughs> Out of the dirt. It's because dirt's actually somewhat useful since we're starting off in a desert. Alright. So what do we got? We've got lots of water here. Let's go check out this area real quick. Uh, not really anything useful. We're at level 17. What's that? Meteor? Diamonds. I hear somebody nearby. Um, okay, so let's get rid of the flower. Oh, that's what's up there. Okay. Yes, we're going to go ahead and bury ourselves here. Looks like daytime. Yeah, nothing's going to get me here. I found a sub... a... S underground meteor! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. We are on, I think, day four now. I'll check after this recording. Anyway, hope you all had a pleasant evening and good night. <laughs>